Okay. I'll we'll be doing a face reveal this time. This is just a little short. I might be think of turning into a series. Plot contrivances. I've always found it interesting that you need an excuse for time travel or banishing mythological creatures or anything like that. You starts will be bearded. Yep. You only see him on screen in, in semi-flashbacks, the journal that Twilight was given by Celestia to turn her into an alicorn, or to banish the sirens to the human world. Yet we have never seen, really seen him on screen. It's like, who's the point? It's like, if you're gonna come with a, a character, if you're gonna develop him, if you're gonna use a name, then you know, give us something. No, no, they give us tidbits here and there. They show us a little, you know, historical shot of him with Scorpion from the season, from season four, from the season four finale to explain the retcon T-Rex uh, backstory. Even though Tyrk and Scorpion were villains from Generation 1 of MLP. We just would, I would just like to see Star Swirl appear in a flashback as a pony talking just once. Once or twice. There's no real, there's, there's no, no real, real point, point to me to use him anymore. You know, if he's just gonna, you know, poof. Let's, let's use him as a plot device. Oh, you need to get rid of the sirens just, and set up uh, rainbow rocks. Poof, star swirl. You need to turn that twilight into an alicorn. Poof, star swirl. Use a spell of his. Oh. There were good things and bad things I liked about Major Mis Magical Mystery Cure. Uh, one of them was, it took Pinkie Pie less than a day to completely sabotage Sweet Apple Acres. And then... You got Spike trying to give Twilight good good ideas and advice, and she just shoots down the memory spell, shoots down the potion from Zakora, shoots down this and that and everything in between, and then kind of sulks. It's just a very, a very interesting to some people. Me? I like, I like her as an alicorn. I used to love her as a unicorn. Uh, I completely disagree with Megan McCarthy when she says Twilight won't have other friends. I, I tend to the, I tend to stick to the teaching to the well somebody I think I saw a comment that said the teachings of Faust. <laughs> Lauren Faust had a good idea had the right idea. You know, we were all expecting Twilight to take over for Celestia because Celestia's getting older. She can't keep ruling unless they're gonna do, unless they're gonna somehow, you know, do that in the next two three seasons if it keeps going. And you know, some of you say, oh well, you know, here's another you know unicorn we can, you know. Elevate to alicorn status. I always thought it would be funny if Trixie ever became an alicorn, how annoyed Twilight would become. <laughs> that would just make me laugh. I mean, I swear. You know, I love Trixie, but my favorite characters will always be Twilight, Lyra, Octavia, Vinyl, the rest of the main six. Starlight Glimmer, 
Trixie, Chrysalis, Discord, Tyrek, and Sombra. And for all intents and purposes, according to a tweet that Megan McCarthy had given years ago, Sombra was dead, we blew him up. Tyrek's still in prison down on Tartarus after the events of the season 4 finale. And now, Chrysalis is on the run. If if you read into the leaked synopsis for season for the season six uh, finale, which yes I know it was leaked, I have seen it and I'm going to wait until you know the 22nd to see my favorite reactors react to it. But I'm, sp but I'm still I still find it funny that. In, in season six, six we're, we're barely, barely hearing, hearing about Star Soul the Bearded. Thank you. It's, it's, it's not, not like, like they hadn't drink brought him up in you know, you know Lunar Eclipse. Through the crowd. You know, the, the season, season four finale. finale. And, and Rainbow, Rainbow Rocks. Rocks. And that's the only time we ever hear about him. We barely hear about him anymore. And I say thank you. Because I swear, I tend to agree with one Anthony C. Who's this, who I think is a superb reviewer and analyst. Star Swirl the Bearded was an ill-conceived plot device. Yes, I said it. We barely hear about him, and yet he, you know, we never see him unless he's barely referenced, and he supposedly created 200 spells, and has a wing of the Cantor Library named after him that's the Dear, Dear of Twilight. And then the pe oh, that was the other one. She had to sneak into the the Cantor Law archive in the season, what, season three episode? It's season three or four episode, it's about time. To try and go back in time and tell herself not to worry. That, 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 that was, was the, the other time, time that we got, got to hear about him. And that's, that's it. it. Now, I, I I would really love to see him appear on screen at least once with a voice actor. Other than that, they could have they could have gone about an entirely different way of introducing him. Or, or at least making it known who he was more than just three or four times and barely giving us any backstory on him. As we haven't heard anything about him since, throughout season six, well, different ones. Yeah, I'll add that. First Woman Tale, Twilight Serene Story that's Starlight and Spike and says and starts praising Star Swirl the Bearded. We couldn't do it without him. And what was it? When you see in the season four finale, Scorpion, you know, in a question. You know, back, back in the Equestrian history, Scorpion and Lord Star Swirl had befriended Star Swirl and alerted the Royal Sisters to what his brother had planned. And Tyrek went to Tartarus for his crimes. In Rainbow Rocks, he was responsible for, and I, I will repeat this, he was a plot contrivance. You know, banish, banish these 
the, the signs, signs from, from the question room. Yep. If it gets starts to overview, then you do it. We're only on screen for a brief, brief period, and all we all we really get is history being read by Twilight, who is a big fan of his, and yet prop knows next to nothing about his personal life. That needs to change, DHX. And what else? Oh. Yeah. The whole premise of time travel. But that will that will be for my next video.